GenerationCoopers.com. Everyone, this is Dr. Weir for GenerationHookah.com, and gentlemen, behold, this is my review for the, the, the Sahara Smoke Octane Hookah. I have the armor version, as you can see. There is also the, I'll bring it up for you. There's the armor, which is what I have, the Persia, and the speckled mirror. Now I got the armor, of course. Now the picture on the website, is <clears throat> a little bit deceiving, but once you really look at it, you can see it better. I don't know how you can see that or not. Up close, far away, whatever, I'm not sure. But uh, it's a little bit deceiving because it kind of looks like the hookah is round all the way like this. But in actuality, it is thin like this. But it is a very nice, beautiful hookah. My lighting kind of sucks in here. Let's see if that helps any. And what it came with was a cleaning brush, some hole and quick lights, some mouth tips. I'm going to go ahead and pop these open real quick. These little dudes. So well they fit in my hose here. Came with also came with a uh, care and instruction booklet. How to set up your hookah and how to uh, set up the coals or how to set up the good bowl and everything. Very shiny. But anyway, let's see if this mouth tip fits in my hose here. Oh, fits right there. They probably fit better in smaller aperture hoses. A little bit loose, but if it and it came with a velvet rope hose, came with a blue one, also known as a Bob Barker hose, named after uh, Bob Barker's microphone from the uh, TV show uh, The Price Is Right. I'll break this down for you guys and show you all the components and elements of it. Very nice hose. It's a really good hoses, by the way. And you can get this hookah from saharasmoke.com for around 240 bucks, I think. The hose grommet. Bowl, the Vortex Bowl. The new style Vortex has the Sahara Smoke logo on it. This is Vortex right there. This is blue, if you can't tell in the light. Uh, nice pair of tongs. They're pretty good. I've used them already a couple of times. The bowl grommet. And that's a pretty good seal on it. Here's the base. Glass. It's pretty thick glass, too. Has a uh, piece of metal, like aluminum, uh, folded and and attached to glue or whatever to the top of this. But that is metal and this is glass. And it's a blue color. You can barely see it in this light. And it's kind of speckled. You probably saw this in my, my box opening review if you, in case you didn't see it. Well, here you go. Bright damn flashlight here. Kind of see the speckled look on it, maybe. And that's definitely metal because this is very strong magnets on this. See, I have that 
it's actually steel, it's not aluminum. See? If it was anything else, it would fall off. But anyway. There you go. I don't know how well you can see that. But it's got a speckled look to it. It looks pretty cool. I like it. As a uh the top here has a, it's a metal ring for a good seal, I guess. Probably gonna make this review way too long, but anyway, that's the uh, base. Very heavy. This thing takes almost a gallon of water, probably about three quarts of water to fill. But yeah, this thing takes about maybe three quarts of water to almost a gallon to fill in order for you to smoke out of, but it still smokes really well. As you've probably seen in my other, if, if you look at my other videos, you can see that I'm smoking with this. Uh, it does smoke pretty good. But let's break apart the stem now. This thing comes, breaks down to, into a thousand pieces. Let's start with the uh, down tube. And screws. Nice long down tube. Uh, the grommet here, I'm not going to worry about taking it off because it takes a while to take off. The uh, the heart or the chamber or whatever you want to call it, it's not a uh, it's not a common chamber. Then again, it's not a traditional chamber either, or whatever you call it. <coughs> but it's pretty much just hollow. There's no space here for water to collect inside there, but it's basically just a big open area. I don't know how you can see that or not. But you're uh, those of you who don't know anything about Sahara smoke hookahs, they're completely modular. You can change out a lot of the parts for other parts. Hose ports, you, you can actually make this a four hose hookah if you wanted to. There's all these little parts here. Little plugs and, and valves and stuff, you know. And the all of this comes apart. Part valve. Part is pretty well too. Now see, right there, you can put, you can get four of these right here. Make you a four hose hookah or however many hose you want. Comes with the plugs, plug the extra holes. Now it doesn't come apart here, but it does come apart up here. And in my box opening review, I goofed up and I put the ho the the coal tray down here like a dummy instead of up here. That comes apart. And this one apart, which I didn't realize at the time, but it does. Completely disassemble. Does this blah 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 this blah blah blah? It sure did. Yeah. Complete completely disassemblable. I guess that's how you say it. You can break it down so you can clean it easier. And if you wanted to, you could probably get more stems like this and make it taller, which I'm kind of thinking about doing because that would be cool. Let's put it back together real quick. Tray. Bowl adapter. Another thing you could do if you wanted. I'll do this real quick. Put this back together. Wouldn't it be kind of funny? No main stem part. Just straight on. Straight on the heart. Straight to the heart. Is that like a song or something like that? And see, that even still plugs in. If you want to be funny and... Or make it, you know, if you think that's cooler looking, you know, whatever. And there you go. But, I happen to like the 
the taller stem, and I'm going to break it here in a minute. I happen to like the taller stem. I'm probably going to get another one and add on to this, make it even taller. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. But anyway, hose. Pull on there. With your tobacco in there, of course. Or, you know, in your coals and... Sorry, I'm a little tired. I just got off work, so my brain isn't functioning right now. It has a very nice draw to it. But, uh... Keep an eye out for me smoking this hookah in my videos. And, uh... Yeah. That is my video review of the uh, Sahara Smoke Octane Armor Hookah. Very nice hookah. I like it a lot. I'm going to set it back over here. Very heavy, too. With water in it, it is very heavy, and I highly doubt it would tip over unless you tried to make it tip over. But, yes, that is... My awesome hookah. Big thanks to uh, Sahara Man, GenerationHookah.com, uh, HookahHookah.com, SaharaSmoke.com, all those awesome people and places and things and stuff. You know, GenerationHookah.com is a great website, great forum, uh, lots of cool members, videos, all kinds of cool stuff. Check it out. It's free to sign up. Tell them I sent you. But, uh... Yeah, big thanks to all you guys. This is, and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but this is my, uh, this is the prize that I won for a uh, contest on the uh, Generation Nuka forum site for uh, it was a hookah invention contest. And this, my Java hookah, was the ma the masterpiece responsible. Anyway, guys, my video is getting kind of long, so that's going to be that. I'm going to do a few more reviews. I'm going to do a couple more reviews on some other stuff here in a little bit, so, uh, yeah. Uh, it's been Dr. Weird for GenerationNuka.com. Thanks for watching.